at the strike of 10.24 a.m. and with the completion of the countdown. Isro's PSLV C-51 blasted off from Sriharikota, tearing into the bright morning sky. It was a celebration of the National Science Day, Isro style. In its 53rd flight, the PSLV successfully placed Brazilian satellite Amazonia 1 and 18 other satellites in their desired orbits. ISRO Chief K7 expressed pride over the launch and confirmed that everything was going as per plan. In this mission, India and ISRO feel extremely proud and honored and happy to launch the first satellite designed, integrated and operated by Brazil. My heartiest congratulations to the, to the Brazilian team for this achievement. The satellite is in very good health and solar panels are deployed and is functioning very nicely. Let me congratulate and compliment the entire Brazilian team. You're watching TV9 Digital. I am Adarsh Vepachedu and in this video, I will be telling you five things you must know about this launch, why it's unique and why it is yet another feather in the cap for ISRO and India. Point number one. Now, what was the PSLV rocket carrying? 19 objects, ranging from satellites to equipment. But the primary passenger is Brazil's satellite Amazonia 1. So what does this satellite do? This 637 kilogram satellite will help Brazil monitor deforestation in the Amazon region and analyze the diversity in agriculture across the country. Point number two, why is this special for India? Well, the launch of Brazil's Amazonia 1 marks the first commercial venture for New Space India Limited, the new marketing arm of ISRO that was created two years ago. Point number three, apart from the Amazonia 1, the PSLV carried 18 other satellites out of which is a flock of 12 space bees from the United States which carry out two-way satellite communication and relay data for Swarm Technologies Inc. That will be sending a total of 150 such space bees for internet communication. Another group of three satellites called Unity Sat, jointly developed by students of three engineering colleges in India, were also part of the payload. Now, this PSLV also carried a nano satellite developed by Space Kids India, which will study space weather and demonstrate long range communication technologies. Point number four. Some of the other things that Space Kids India has sent on the PSLV are an engraved picture of Prime Minister Narendra Modi symbolizing his Atmanirbhar initiative and space privatization and an e-copy of the Bhagavad Gita saved on an SD card. Point number five. One satellite that missed the bus to space was of Pixel India, a Bengaluru-based startup that can be compared to what SpaceX is for the United States. Their satellite Anand was supposed to be on the PSLV. However, less than a week to go before the launch, the company announced that owing to a few software issues, they will not be able to make it. Had the satellite Anand been on the rocket, this mission would have been all the more special, as in ISRO chief K. Sivan's own words, it would have marked the beginning of a new age in which private companies would become an equal partner in India's space sector. If you like the information that I have presented, make sure you like and share this video. And yes, subscribe to TV9 News on YouTube, Facebook, Instagram and Twitter. Until next time.